Afternoon, everybody. It's your old buddy Jim weaving through my son's bicycle repair shop. Trying to figure out uh, how to get through here to make a video. We'll go that way like I usually do, but my neighbor's getting her yard mowed. It's that time of year. I'm going to hit mine here in a couple of days. First, I'm going to have to go around and pick up sticks and tree limbs that's fell out over the winter. But today is Monday. I think. Worked overtime last night, so that's always good. Make a little extra money. Comes in handy. Uh, buy more preps with it. Hope y'all had a good weekend. I did. Uh, got to go to church services yesterday. Took, took my youngest with me. My stepson was going to his dad's. And my oldest son, uh, other son, he was at his Nanny and Papa also. Me and the little one went yesterday. He does really good in church. I, he takes a, a few toys with him. He listens because he talks about it. So that's good. I hope y'all, if you had an opportunity to go, hope you got to go, chose to go. Always good. Men worked over last night, so I've been getting up early because I'm going to work a, a day shift coming up soon over time and then another night shift. So. Make that extra money, chase that extra dollar while you can. But uh, what I wanted to talk about today was what is everybody's worst case scenario for SHTF? I know there's a lot to go over, but I think mine, the one that's been weighing on my mind, be something to, to take the grid down, like a, an EMP, coronal mass ejection. Maybe even a cyber attack. Uh, they've been hollering about Russia going to do a cyber attack for a couple weeks now. So, who knows? But I think that would be the, the worst case for me that I could think of because it would just be a slow, drawn out process for the unprepared. CDC did a study up to 90% of the population would be dead in a year. And uh, I know a nuke would be awful too. Because, but if, depending on where you're at, and the nuke wouldn't last very long. Or your, your SHTF wouldn't last very long if a nuke hit close to you. And then there's the other ones. I mean, a, a war on the American soil. Economic collapse, which I think is pretty possible too at this point. But CME, I saw where Russia launched a big military satellite. Where did I see it? I saw it on a YouTube channel. But they do that stuff all the time. This looks like a, a huge rocket just to carry a satellite up. So, just keep preparing. Uh, a little bit back at a time. Don't, don't let it obsess you and overwhelm you. Especially if you're new to this because it can be you know, start out with uh, getting extra water and food. Get a way to purify some water. Uh, have a backup means of heat and, and some power. A generator would be good. Solar generator would be better. Uh, wood stove would be wonderful. But Mr. Buddy works too. Just got to remember Mr. Buddy's limited on how much propane to get. And you can lay your hands on and... I guess the wood stove would depend on where you're at too, how much wood you've got access to. So I got a deadfall right there that's getting ready to go right over the power line coming into the house. I need to get somebody to cut that down because it's leaning right toward it. And I'm not skilled enough to get up there and cut that down. Speaking of power outages and a grid going down, that'd be a local grid down situation, I guess. But uh, food, some stuff I've noticed canned vegetables at certain stores hadn't went up that much. Uh, I like treat meat, it's going back up. Rice and beans, I can't tell, has jumped up a whole lot. Ramen noodles. People go, ooh, ramen noodles, spam. Well, guess what? Good calorie source. And you can put some canned vegetables over the ramen and make it a little healthier or somewhat healthy. Don't worry about the Best Buy dates on that. That's exactly what it is, it's Best Buy. Check your cans. Uh, try not to buy dented cans or rusty cans. And you can always smell them before uh, you use them. You have a pretty good idea. 
I've been eating treat meat with uh, eggs here that expired in 2020, so tastes fine to me. Just loses a little nutritional value. Uh, if you can, get some chickens. I love my, my little girls, they do good. I enjoy raising them, they're not that hard to work with. Uh, I lost one back in the winter, so they seem to all be healthy. I'm gonna try to hatch them out in May. It's still March, so I was gonna say next month, but in May. If you can, grow some food. If you're in an apartment and you got a, a balcony, you can grow some food there, grow lights inside. I'm not an expert on how to do that stuff. I, I've never grown anything with grow lights. Had some buddies in college grew a little wacky weed with grow lights, but that's another topic for another day, I guess. Uh, get you a way to defend your preps. If you can't have a gun, grab you a ball bat. If you can't have a gun, get two of them if you can. Ammo is, I've seen some pretty good deals on a 2A warehouse. I hadn't checked ammo seek in a while. Uh, my local sporting goods store had a real good deal on uh, the 5.56 five, Freedom Seeds a couple weeks ago. So check around every now and then you can find a good deal. Pawn shop maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Be creative. Get you some. If you have a backyard where you can put out a garden, put a garden out. It's time to learn. It'll come in handy. I promise you. You won't regret prepping. And people will make fun of you. And But that's if you're that soft-skinned shouldn't be uh, worried about surviving a bad situation anyway. I don't care what people say about me. It don't affect me. I laugh usually. Uh, but that's it for today. <clears throat> Excuse me. But uh, it is a beautiful day here. <clears throat> Sun's out. It's not real warm today. It's mid 40s for today's high, but Wednesday's supposed to be close to 80, so that's the day I've chose to mow and I was just looking around the yard while we do our little walk and talk and uh, a lot of limbs I'm going to have to get my wheelbarrow out and haul them up to be taken away I decided not to plant next week, it's going to be a week after or this week, it's going to be next week when I plant my potatoes I may get another container and try to do some potatoes in it, maybe a toad, I saw North Shore preparedness last year, had some pretty good luck just in a, a regular storage tote so maybe I'll get three containers for potatoes I'm gonna do the beans and the straw bales I'm not sure where I'm gonna put my tomato plants in my neighbor's gonna give me some of hers so that was awful nice but I've been taking the legs and stuff off off and on for the last year so bartering already I already live in a bartering economy but that's it from OETP today uh, leave a comment below what your nightmare SHTF situation would be. I think mine would be a grid down whether natural or man-made. Uh, let me know what you think about what yours would be. And uh, if you like the video give it a big thumbs up. And that's it for today folks. I hope to see y'all again in a couple days. Maybe my allergies will be kicking we can have a good snotty video together after I'm over. But that's it. Adios friends. I'll talk to y'all later.